Hi hey everyone. So we have here an electroscope uh, whose job is to measure the amount of electric charge specifically on its leaves. Uh, we also have a balloon, which again is essentially a piece of plastic. Uh, and I can take this balloon and rub it on my hair, which again is essentially animal fur, and that will charge up that balloon with negative charge. And now, if I bring this balloon close to this electroscope, not actually touching, we can see that the leaves separate. And this is not because there's a net charge placed on this electroscope, it's because the charge has been separated. Positive charge within the electroscope has been attracted upward toward the uh, ball on the top, and negative charge has been repelled down to the bottom. And so if I bring the balloon far away now, we can see that there's no net charge in the electroscope. The leaves go back close together. So now I'm going to take this negatively charged balloon and I'm going to use it to charge up this electroscope through induction. So I'm going to take this balloon, bring it close but not actually touching. You can see that the leaves of the electroscope are separated. I'm going to briefly touch the electroscope with my finger. You can see that the leaves have come together again. I'm going to take my finger away. I'm going to take the balloon away. And now the balloon is gone, but the leaves are still separated. The electroscope has some net charge on it now. It's been charged up through induction. And now if I bring the balloon back, if I bring it this close, where it was originally, the leaves are once again together. That means that there's no charge on the leaves, although there might still be net charge on the electroscope itself. And if I bring the balloon in even closer, leaves separate again. And we can think about what that means about where the charge is on this electroscope and what its net charge is.